Todd Budd of Crawfordsville, Indiana, is a farmer, firefighter, and a father. We sat down with Todd and listened and learned of his many comebacks in his life. Todd became a firefighter in 1992 and has loved the job since. In August this year will be my 30th anniversary as a fireman, and uh, I love it. I lo I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Most firemen are going to tell you they love fighting fires. However, some unexpected family heartbreak made that job even harder. Eventually, it became extremely difficult. We didn't get any response back. We got up the next morning and we're texting, still can't get a hold of him, still can't get a hold of him. And so um, Tanya wants me to contact this friend of his. So I called him and I said, hey, we can't get a hold of Trevor. And we just kind of had a gut feeling then. And so I get a hold of Dolan and said, hey, Trevor didn't show up to work. We can't get a hold of him. And he says, yeah, they've already called me. I'm on my way out to the house to check on him. And then I called this boy back, and he says, well, I'm here at the house, and his car's not here. I thought, well, wait a minute. We've got the Yukon. He's probably parked in the garage. So we gave him the door code to the garage. He got in and um, opened up the door, and that's when he found Trevor. And Trevor was gone. I remember thinking, I don't... I don't know how much I'm going to be able to keep this up, and which is a tragedy in itself because I'm so, I love being a fireman. <laughs> and then one day I was sitting at the firehouse, it was in the evening, and I get a text from a friend of mine at uh, this other fire department and says, we're looking at hiring an inspector. Would you be interested in that? And so I pursued that. Oh, within a couple of days of starting that job, I had found out that my fire chief had lost a 19-year-old son, same age as Trevor, in a car accident uh, in 1998, which was the year Trevor was born, which was the year I started my career as a firefighter. They've empowered me with so much. I mean, I'm the, I'm the leader of the drone team and uh, captain of the division, and it's just, there's no other way to describe it other than the divine act of God. If you have a loved one that's struggling like that, don't trust them. Here in Crawfordsville is Trevor's memorial with a photo of him diving on the front and on the back, awesome 8282. For WBTV News, I'm Allison Gard.